So here I go. I, I haven't, this will be the first time I've pulling the, uh, the uh, backhoe off it on. I haven't wanted to do it all summer. So, all right. So I got to pull the pins there, the move pins, uh, take the f uh, weight off these pins here and then pull that all off. This power line, I assuming this power line will go right back in that mail and those will just dangle there. So that's phase one. I'm gonna put you in a cradle while I do all that. So if this is your first time uh, removing a backhoe from a Mahindra 1626 or the Mahindra 1500 series, it is me too. So you can watch me and see what mistakes I make and see if I bruise my knuckles or if I end up spraying uh, hydraulic fluid all over the place. I will get some safety glasses to start this. So yeah, it's my first time doing this thing. So uh, newbie, uh, newbie warning alert. So if I make a mistake, I'll, I'll point it out and I'll say, don't do this thing. Let me get my cradle. All right, so I hope that y'all can hear that. I'm gonna take the backhoe off right there. I'm gonna start the tractor. Tip the seats like this when there's rain and kind of keeps them a little drier to sit in. Plug in Put a board underneath that. Let's see if you pointing down here. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. All right, let me get a board under the mouth. I don't want it sinking in the mud while I leave it sit here. Look at that, I had already lost a, a, a C-clip in there, that was, that's bad. So, I'll pull you out of the cradle and you can see what I'm doing. What I did is I, I just don't want those to sink into the mud. So I'm going to go ahead and put them down a little bit. Just above the blocks. So uh, the load will actually come from the bucket. Yeah, this one has all the C-clip in it. So, that one's had one fall off. And no bueno. All right, I haven't tipped this off of there before, so let me see if I can figure out how to tip it off. Oh, that's the wrong direction. See the 
these are loose up here but I, I want to pull it off of that cradle back in there you can see it down in there which I haven't successfully done yet that's wrong maybe I've got that bucket curled up too much taking the bucket ah there we go ah all right well that was a real stunning was it everybody so I had the bucket all the way down in the ground because I didn't want it to fill up with water and that was keeping it posted on those so uh, but now I'm in my hydraulic lines I hope I didn't damage them any oh my gosh I'm way in my hydraulic line so let me think here for a second because I want to take the pressure off that without messing it up so maybe rolling the bucket forward just a smidgen yeah yeah but not all the way down see all right let's see if that helped I took the tension off of those lines. All right, step one's all done. All right. So recap, I uh, moved the bucket to pull the uh, tra travel pins out. And then I put the bucket down uh, and I was using the point down because I don't like my bucket to fill up with dirt. That was wrong, wrong. So then I removed the, uh, the pins, the top pins. And uh, one of them was already missing a pin, a safety pin. So I'll have to make sure I always double check my inspection. This one here is missing a safety pin. All right. And then I was struggling down there to tip it forward off of those brackets. Let me zoom in. So, and what I had to do was tip the bucket uh, because I had it pointed straight down I had to tip the bucket to roll the whole thing forward and uh, now I'm going to remove the uh, pressure off of the hydraulic line and it looks like I could pull forward if next time I do this I'm going to make sure that I don't have to jockey it around as much so let's put you back in the cradle and then I'll do the supply lines before I start with that while the tractor's off, I'm gonna go ahead, all points, <laughs> removing the, the hydraulic load. I'm wearing my safety glasses. I do not care to have, uh, okay, all points. There should be no hydraulic load. I got my safety glasses on, and it shouldn't get squirted in the eyes anyway, but I don't want to. Let's move up in here. All right, put you back in the cradle while I do this. Next time I do this, I'll be an old hat at it, and I'll be able to just, just do it. All right, you got those lines? Hmm. All right. Dressed pretty nice for this, this particular job here. All right. One safety line, hydraulic line. Check. Oh, I should have done the bottom one first because now it's all covered in hydraulic oil. Yeah. Kind of hard to do. All right, two. So there's the third. There. I really don't have enough slack to Let me see where my slack is. All right, there's a zip tie in there that's holding all my slack, so I'm going to have to cut that zip tie. I'll be right back. All right, so let me show you my my problem here. So I was expecting when I put this down that this top line would have enough uh, a slack 
then I'd be able to pull it out and uh, clip it there. So, but I don't. That's all I have. So, following it along here, I see there's a zip tie down there. And that zip tie is where all my slack is. So, now I certainly don't want uh, that tangled in a tire. So, I'm going to cut that zip tie and uh, then hook that up and then see what's, see what's going on. So I'm recording, but uh, this is the first time that uh, I've had weather that I think that I can um, mow, you know? Yeah. So, so yeah, this is my first time pulling this thing off. I haven't made very many mistakes, but getting, it's kind of a little dance to get the bucket in the right place for the pads to roll it forward off the bottom pins. This Mahindra is nice because they welded the uh, the backhoe frame isn't just hooked to the axle, which snaps people's tractors in half. Ooh. This actually has, see the metal plate? Mm -hmm. The one inch metal plate all the way through the frame. And even though this is a light tractor uh, for farm, you know, size, it's heavy. And that's what makes a tractor have a little more oomph for its horsepower. So it's punching above its weight. But anyway, I, I think I have that. I'm going to turn that on and you go stand over there in case I didn't hook up the hydraulics right and it all sprays out. Uh, not saying I would do such a thing, but such a thing could happen. Look at that, uh, Internet. See where that, that uh, right up against the knobby tire. So definitely going to need to back it off and zip tie it somewhere. So I can't roll until I take care of that. All right. We put it in a cradle and turn it on. See if I lose my hydraulics. Yeah, I, I was expecting a little more slack on the back of that. I had to cut a big heavy zip tie, and now the hydraulic line's in the tire, so I'll need to look at that. See, nothing's like a five minute job, and that's why I haven't put this mower deck on the whole something. Plus, it was the drought, I couldn't mow anyway. <laughs> it's up in the air. I think I did it. I don't think I have hydraulic oil, so I'm happy with that. Now I need to put the three-point hinge on, pull it away. But before I do that, I gotta give it enough slack here. So now my hydraulic line's on my, my parking brake. So this just doesn't feel like Somebody ran it the right way, you know? Like it's supposed to be behind these, maybe? Yeah, look at that metal bar right there. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be my opinion. I'm going to zip tie it to that metal bar, but I think it should have been run behind that metal bar. Oh, you're, you're using my camera. Oh, I'm thank you, love. I'm trying to help you out a little You bit. did help me out. You're such a helper, baby. All right, let me pull my tractor away in. I'm gonna zip tie that before I pull it away. All right, so I found some zip ties in there. So there's a, a metal bar in here that I'm convinced that this was supposed to run through and it didn't, so I'm gonna zip tie it to that.
and uh, double check. I'm going to double zip tie it because I do not want my knobbies to rip that hydraulic line off. Oh, there's one. Maybe to this. All right. Those are commercial zip lines, so I feel pretty comfortable. So, there we go. See, I zip tied it to that bar. See it back in there? Let's see. See it back in there? I don't know if I'm able to focus. And then I've got it zip tied to this. That's plenty of clearance there, unless I catch a big log and flip it up or something. All right, ready to move the tractor. This next step will be hooking back up the three-point hitch. 